Mo has a mass of 50 kilograms and he climbs a flight of stairs four meters high. Now the gravitational field strength on Earth is 10 newtons per kilogram. So that's 10 newtons of force for every kilogram of mass. Calculate Mo's gain in gravitational potential energy. And we're going to use list equation solve state as usual for our calculation. So let's get stuck in. First of all, what do we know? Let's make a data list. So Mo's mass m is equal to 50 kilograms. We know that he's moving a, a height or he's raising himself a height which is delta h because that's the change in height of 4 meters. We know that the gravitational field strength uh, on Earth, which is where Mo is climbing these stairs, is 10 newtons for every kilogram of mass. And what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find the change in gravitational potential energy, which we could label as delta EP. Remember, the delta means change in, and hence we've got change in height, change in energy. So that's what we're trying to find. And that will be measured in joules because we've got all the standard units for all the other quantities. OK, what's the equation which will link all of these quantities together? It's delta E, or delta EP, is equal to M times G times by delta H. So let's put the numbers in. So delta EP is equal to... 50 kilograms multiplied by 10 multiplied by the height 4 meters vertically upwards. Notice that the height will be the vertical distance, uh, not the distance uh, along the staircase. And if we do that calculation, we'll find that we get. 50 times 10 is 500 times by 4 will be 2000 and if we state the answer down here delta EP the changing gravitational potential energy is 2000 joules now that would be the work done by Mo as he climbs these stairs and transfers chemical energy in his muscles to gravitational potential energy. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next flashcard.